Welcome to the Forex Market Roundup. Just going to do a quick little video for you on what's happened this week and what we're seeing towards the end of the week. So big data this week, obviously lots of movement in the market and it's all been created by this US data. Core CPI in particular falling to 0.2% and CPI year on year down to 3.3% was the big mover in the markets. And then we obviously we had the federal funds rate decision, Fed left rates at 5.5%. And in the FOMC statement, the Federal Reserve Chairman Powell said they're holding rates, but if the data decides to show them that there is a significant decrease in the labor market then they will look to cut interest rates that was followed by ppi data which came in negative as well which again kind of shocked the markets and unemployment claims coming in at 242 Bank of Japan came out and did absolutely nothing to their monetary policy statement. They didn't even bring back their bond tapering or purchases of bond. They didn't slow that down either, which caused the Japanese yen to weaken initially, but has now gained strength. If I just look at this snapshot of today's currencies, the top dog is the Swiss franc. And we talked about this at the beginning of the week. Swiss franc has emerged as the strongest currency, followed by the US dollar and the Japanese yen. And that's given us a little bit of an insight to how the market is positioned from a risk on, risk off point of view. Because if we take a look at those currencies there, uh, usually these three currencies being the strongest does lead to risk off in the market. So typically in these type of market environments, you can see the rush to sort of... Uh, gold assets you can also see some downside in stocks so that's what we're kind of seeing going into this close today on the weak side of things the great british pound has been one of the weakest alongside the new zealand dollar as well as the euro obviously europe in focus this week lots of political unrest the currency strength meter did point out a few of these opportunities i just wanted to highlight this as i didn't really highlight it in the main video this week but we had the swiss franc as the strongest currency and it is finishing the week as the strongest um, i was looking at the japanese yen to see if there was any kind of strength in the market and that has seemed to have flowed through the us dollar also on a reversal path now so are we going to see that risk off going into next week thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the youtube channel